Stopping the practice of auctioning the very weapons used by killers to take someone's life. It is our top story here tonight on the WHS 11 night team. Hello everybody. I'm Doug Prophet. Tonight a Democrat and Republican in Kentucky are coming together to end the long honored practice by Kentucky State Police of auctioning off the guns. Now the money helps fund police departments. WHS 11 night team's Connor Steffen reports on the bill just filed. In the pain, it gets harder and harder. For Nation Tribune. I want my son back here with me. Loss has become the only constant in life since her 23-year-old son, Mikkel Coleman's death this past July. They found him dead, gunshot wounds. Yeah, it, it was terrible. The tragedy has propelled her into advocacy as she looks to prevent the very same gun violence that took her son. We don't want this to recycle. Two Louisville state lawmakers, one Democrat and one Republican, share her sentiment. The result is Senate Bill 178. Filed this week, it would require Kentucky State Police to destroy any guns used in violent crimes instead of auctioning them off like they do now. This video from KSP shows some of the thousands of confiscated guns they're preparing to auction off to federally licensed firearm dealers next week. It's not clear how many, if any, were used to commit murder. There's no way that that should be auctioned off to no one else. That doesn't make any sense. Under current Kentucky law, about 80% of the revenue generated from KSP auctions is allocated to local police departments like right here in St. Matthews. Officers called the funding crucial. Because you're able to fund police departments to be able to buy equipment that's necessary for them to do their job. St. Matthews Assistant Police Chief Eddie Jones says the department is a recent beneficiary of the program. We were awarded $193,000. Money they used to replace old tasers and handguns, make system upgrades, and launch new training programs. What benefits the smaller departments in the state? It remains unclear what impact the bill would have on this funding. Still, Jones points to what's at stake if smaller police departments lose a critical resource. If they start removing those guns, it's going to hurt police departments out here trying to protect their communities. I want this to be where these guns are not back out in the streets, killing someone else and then destroying somebody else's family. But for grieving families like Nation's, the only thing that matters is preventing more loss and heartbreak. In Louisville, Connor Steff in the WHAS 1119 on your side. More now on this topic, destroying these guns is something Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg has been pushing for since being elected. In a statement, he says in part, quote, no gun is more important than the life of a loved one. Adding, quote, I thank my Louisville colleagues in the General Assembly for their leadership on ending this recycling of gun violence. 